Hi, I'm the number one hazard and I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on Reactor Server. <coughs> Reactor Server allows you to create a local area network server or web server designed to allow you to type in the computer's local or wide area network IP address and that allows you to actually access the computer's files or whatever you want. So once you've downloaded and installed Reactor Server, um, which I'll put the download link on the instructions, you click Start Server. This will automatically assign the server a, drive, a virtual drive letter and that's where all the files are stored. You can also use the quick links as localhost and PHP admin. I'm going to click on the localhost and after a while it will load up your internet browser and it will allow you to access the web page. <coughs> now over a local area connection you're able to view the, the um, the computer's server or virtual server like this meaning that it can be accessed from any computer which is good and um, I can access it from any computer on my network. You've also got user accounts so you can protect files that are restricted from only administrators or account users you can also upload surveys, forums, frequently asked questions, um, just anything that you'd want to upload onto a server or your own local intranet onto this website, which is basically a local website or you can have a wide area network website. It can all be accessed anywhere over the internet from anywhere, it can also be accessed from home, it can be limited so the port is blocked meaning that it can only be accessed from <coughs> home and you can also make it so it can be accessed from other places as well which is good as well so you can like lock the port through, through the firewall on your uh, router so here we go Internet Explorer is finally loaded um, it should display the contents of the web page which is basically the local IP address like it says here localhost and it should find the local host and connect to it as well which is good um, <coughs> just be careful some computers this doesn't work on sometimes it'll say this Internet Explorer cannot display this page it needs to have a login sometimes it just doesn't work I'm not sure how to get around that yet but um it still works anyway. Basically, the local host is exactly the same as typing in 127.0.0.1. So basically, they'll let that's the local host's IP address. Um, you can use that to get into it as well. So it's website found, waiting for reply. You, you might you may be thinking, why the hell is this taking so long? It's because I'm running a high quality um, Camtasia Studio which is a um, <coughs> it's like I said it's a high quality uh, screen recorder so it takes up a lot of CPU usage and RAM even if you do have a 3 gigahertz processor like myself with 2 gig of RAM <coughs> so basically it's really good for um, like I said um, just using even as an intranet as well um, obviously you're able to um, connect to it via anywhere on your network or you know it can be run on any computer not just the server basically this runs on a computer as a, as a server you can basically just use it like a server basically it can be <coughs> used in any way you can change the settings files you can change any of the files uh, finally, it's loaded almost. Please load. No, it just takes ages. Not, wh not when you're opening a screen recorder, but usually it would only take about two seconds to load, really. But obviously, the screen recorder takes up a lot of RAM and CPU usage. But as you can see, this is what it looks like as it's loading very slowly basically shows you like all different messages you can add to the um the home page you can log into your server 
so you can access any of the files on here as you can see got like the admin and then you've got like if you want guest users can have their own you know the logins here or the admin login you go the admin.php um as you can see it but it shows you um how many guests and members are online it says you're an anonymous user i actually have a network set up at the moment so what i'm going to do is i'm going to connect to this <coughs> server and as my computer is connecting which it will in a sec uh, please connect yes it's waiting for it and it should connect in a sec And yes, my computer has connected. So I now have I now have um if I reload this page Sorry about this, just my local area connection status has just popped up. Oh. Basically, if you reload the page, it'll tell you who's logged in and who's not. It actually, it does. It, it's it's really fast. It'll load quite fast anywhere on the network as well. Especially, it's a it's it's a because it, it's running straight from the computer. Then it 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 loads faster than a web page would as well. Loads pretty fast, basically see how it's it's restarting now basically it'll it'll show you how many um people are online so you basically get the idea obviously it just tells you the difference between how many people's on and who's not so as i said you can use this anywhere it's great for any type of network whether wireless or cable it runs straight from the computer so it is very fast um and this this um program is available for download from their website um or you can just like download it from somewhere else so yeah it's a open source free um server project basically allows you it, you just download it and you can use it see how now where it says who's online it says now it says there are currently two guests so before it was one now it's two so it shows you the difference between who's on and who's not and it also shows how many pages has been looked at and as you can see you've got all the different things down here plus many more when you log in as an admin so great program I'm the number one hazard, see you in the future.